Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I have another layout using the Planetarium May Studio Calico Kit and I'm going to use these papers. One is from Lucky Charm, Echo Park, Cosmo Cricket and Simple Stories and a vanilla background and it's all scraps. I'm down, um, I think I have about six full sheets left. So I'm going to use some of my scraps. And I know I want to use that yellow chevron and also that yellow um, Lucky Charm heart paper. And I make it uh, that wide for now, but I'm going to change that up because I don't find it's it's um, long enough for grounding enough. So I want to change that in a bit. And then when I end up putting it together, it's going to look a little different than what it is uh, right now, just because I didn't take a picture and then I totally forgot how I had it down on the page. So it is going to look a little different than this. It's just the starburst paper is going to be not one on top of the other, but more off offset like the striped paper. That's pretty much the only difference in the chevron paper. It's just basically like a little accent in the background. You don't really see it. So I'm going to cut little strips of paper and I'm going to put it at the top and the bottom of the layout. Just to kind of add some colors in those corners. And I'm going to use that grid paper from Simple Stories and it's not so much that I don't like the green in the background, it just doesn't go with this collection of papers that they've put together. And I ended up doing one layout and I have to say it's probably my least favorite layout um, that I've ever made. <laughs> um, and I think it's that was why, because I tried to force it, you know, like I tried to use the paper and it, it just wasn't working so now I'm just going to use the the background and it, I mean it's a nice grid so it's nice journaling paper so that's what I'm going to use and I decide to mat the photo in that orange grid and he's kind of has a little shirt on and there's a word on it that it's in orange so I thought I'd mat the photo in orange and kind of bring him out make him stand off the the page and this picture was actually on our recent trip that we just took to Quebec and we had stopped at this restaurant and um, we didn't bring in his car seat and they had these little high chairs so this was the first time that he actually sat in a high chair all by himself um, actually the first time he ever sat in a high chair too and he just had this look on his face and this that's what the title of the page is going to be like uh hello like baby here is anyone holding me so that's what the title is going to be and i i thought at first i would put the hello but it just it was too big so i'm just going to put baby here is anyone holding me so i'm going through the die cuts that we got in last month's kit and i'm pulling anything out that is orange or yellow because that's the colors that i want to go with this time around and some blue I'm gonna pull in some blue also and on his shirt it's blue and or uh, blue and orange and then I also wanted to put in some yellow in there so I'm going through my die cuts and finding a few different ones and these are the dear Lizzie lucky charm looking through there and I don't Yes, I do. I end up pulling this one right here and it says be awesome today and I'm going to take my EK success powder tool and I'm going to take the stickiness away. And then I'll be able to move it around on my page and not worry about it sticking down and not being able to you, you know, to Okay, so the recording stopped, but this time it was totally my fault. I had my page sitting on my computer and I pressed down to um, stabilize some twine that I had on the page and I stopped the recording. So, um, 
So now I'm going to go through some die cuts and see what else. Again, I'm just looking for anything yellow or orange. And it doesn't mean that I'm going to use it on the page. I just like the options. And then I dug out that camera paper that we got in last month's kit. And I'm going to cut a strip and put it at the top and the bottom of the layout. But I don't end up using it. Because I thought I want to use that hello tag. And it was kind of wood grain. So I was trying to find something else that was wood grain. But it just wasn't the same wood grain. So I eventually decide not to, not to use it. So I'm going to, like I said, cut a couple strips, put it at the top and the bottom, but I'll eventually pull it off. I don't end up gluing it down. As you can tell, like the, the tag is a much lighter wood grain than the one with the cameras. The one with the cameras is much darker, so it doesn't, it doesn't tie it in whatsoever. So I'm just going to, just going to get rid of it. So I'm just fussing with all the die cuts and seeing where, you know, I could put them down. I'm looking at some orange stickers because I really like that tab but I think it says like Friday and this picture was not taken on a Friday but I wanted to use it so then I just took a tag off and the tag says sweet or not the tag but the word says sweet and then I'm going to cut the top off that tag just so that I can use it somewhere else on the page because there was only one of those little stickers. And I want to use it in three different spots. And I think it was the last layout or the one, a few layouts before I had cut the bottom of that circle where it says, remember this moment. And I had stuck it on the layout. And so I want to use that on this page. And it just says, remember this moment. And now I'm looking at some brads and I don't end up using any of it. And I'm going to use again those October afternoon sticky keys. And that first sheet that we got in a kit a few months ago is just about picked over. And I always look on that sheet first and get the letters that I still have, you know, on that sheet. And then I use that and then I use my second sheet. And I pulled out a couple of American crafts letter stickers and these ones are orange and I'm going to spell out is anyone so in yellow I spelled out baby here and then in the orange I spelled out is anyone and then the other American craft remark stickers in the blue I I wrote holding and at first I think I'm going to do the me in the orange but I find it's too small so I'm going to switch them out and do the yellow honey stickers again and I find it sticks out a little bit more that way and now I'm feeling good about the whole thing and I'm going to start gluing everything down or no maybe before I'm going to decide that I want to outline everything so I'm going to take a close to my heart marker or a pen and I'm going to outline everything and this is where I didn't, I didn't uh, take a picture of how everything was down. So when I come to put everything back together, I forget how it goes and I just change it up. But that's okay. I mean, it's still, it still ended up balancing. So, and I double line it. So then I don't have to worry whether or not it's straight or not. And I'm going to outline that yellow paper too. So this is the 10th layout. Is it the 10th layout? Yes, the 10th layout using the planetarium kit. And it took me an hour and 12 minutes. And I probably would have had this um, page uploaded a whole lot sooner. But I almost got this page done and the battery died. And all I had left was like 20 minutes, which I ended up doing... Uh, last night when I got home from work actually I slept for a few hours and then at about um, 11 o'clock at night I stayed up for a few hours because I had to sleep in today because I'm working nights and I finished it up and then I slept in today and now I'm doing the voiceover and hopefully I get to upload it before I go to work because it still has to process and I don't know how long that's going to take and 
I'm using my quick dry adhesive and I glue every glue everything down and this is where I changed it up. The circle paper is now not equal with each other but offset one to the left and one to the right of the photo. And I'm off doing something and I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. So I just want to let you know that I started a Facebook group and the whole purpose of the Facebook group is just get her done. Like let's just get our photos out of those boxes and you know those envelopes that they come in from the processing place and let's get them into our albums and just as much let's get our products used up and let's get them into the album so it's just basically a place where we encourage each other to get things done and every week I I give um, challenges and there's also a monthly challenge and the monthly challenge is mostly like let's use some of okay so it stopped again this time I had a coughing fit and I'm kind of glad I did because when I stopped it it had stopped way before so I was talking about the challenges uh, on the Facebook group and there's a monthly one and the monthly one is more like I'm gonna pick something that I find that I not using enough like for the month of August it's going to be die cuts and um, I made it whether it was manual or a die cut machine because I was afraid that I want to make sure that everyone could participate and not you know if you only had a manual cutter and you didn't have a digital cutter then you would feel like you couldn't participate so I added them both and um, and then a weekly challenge also so if you want to join us the link is in the description and I added some foam tape in behind that little die cut that says you are my sunshine and then I'm gonna glue down those little strips that I had cut up cut up for the bottom and the top of the page and I have them kind of overhanging then I don't have to worry whether or not I'm right at the edge of the page and have to be fussy about that I just flip the page over and then cut them off I don't have to worry about being straight and now I want to use my tiny attacher and it's too far in so the tiny attacher you can pull it apart and then staple right in the middle of the page you got to put some kind of foam in behind so that I mean if it's hard the staples are just going to bounce right back so if there's a little foam they'll stick into the foam and then you flip your page over and then you just use something else to crush the staples down so this is where the um, battery had died and while I was waiting for the battery to charge up again I just added my title because I knew that I had showed you that before I took out a couple or three of those um, buttons that were in this month's kit blue buttons and I also took out some of those paper clips that I had gotten from two peas in a bucket one of my hauls that I had just shared so that's good I'm using uh, a lot of the stuff that I just got in a haul so I love that I don't like to put stuff away and then you forget about it and don't use it and I took out three of those little tweets and that's probably my most used wood veneer is those little tweets I just love them and I couldn't find anything that I could put those clips on so I could put some glue in behind so I just took my stamping block and then I used the this to that American craft but it's the solid glue and it's permanent glue so I just put a little bit of that in behind each clip and then I cut three pieces of twine and that I use my this to that American craft dot adhesive and it works really well on the twine and then I'm going to put it wherever there's a little bird and then I believe the page oh I'm gonna sew down those buttons and I use some crochet thread and I'm just gonna tie those or sew down those buttons 
And the one in the middle, I'm not going to put anything in it because it had those little blue dots in the middle. So I just left that. And plus it had a foam dot in behind. So I just didn't bother with it. And now I'm going to take out three glimmer glaze, a blue, an orange, and a yellow. And I'm going to put it in around where all the embellishment was. And it was kind of silly of me to do that because then I'm going to take out my journaling pen and I'm going to journal and I have to be careful because those are still wet so I probably should have done my journaling first and then done that but I kind of kind of forgot so I just carefully journal and I just kind of journal that this was the first time that he sat in a high chair by himself and he just had this look on his face that said hello baby here is anyone holding me and that we had stopped at this really uh, neat restaurant and took a little break and we had some lunch and then we just kind of hung around just to give him a break out of his um, car seat and then my mom ended up changing his bum and I don't know if she didn't put his diaper on correctly but then we went for a walk there was a little store that was connected to this restaurant and all of a sudden I felt this warm sensation down my body like down my stomach because you know how you hold a baby on on your side and it just felt warm and like what is warm anyway he just ended up peeing all over me he went right out the diaper none of it went in the diaper right out the diaper and all over me so everybody thought that was pretty funny so I just documented that and then after that I'm going to take out one of the stamps that we got in this month's kit and it is the little camera and I took out the butter bar hero arts ink and I'm going to stamp it directly on the journaling spot right there and then I'm going to take out that journaling paper again and I'm going to stamp it a couple more times and put the camera in two more clusters and again if you want to see some still pictures close-up pictures you can go to three spots you can join us on the Facebook group I post them there or you can go to two peas in a bucket and studio calico in the members gallery and you can look up Nicole Jones 911 and I have close-ups of all my layouts there so I'm going to add the camera right there next to the title I'm going to put some foam dot in behind that one and then I'm going to put the other camera next to that little cluster and it ends up being crooked and I can't fix it because it's going to rip apart. So here's a few close up and that's it. The page is done. So thanks for watching. Bye.